Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and what we have right here is the new Toshiba Encore 2 WT8. So that is the new super low-end Windows 8.1 tablet that Toshiba just announced. Um, it's basically a very basic uh, Windows 8.1 tablet. It has an 8-inch screen, IPS panel 1280 by 800, so the viewing angles should be pretty much all right. Um, it's not the brightest screen, although we have a very powerful light right here. Um, feels pretty good it is a cheap tablet so there's a difference in quality between this and for example the Lenovo Mix 8 and if you go in here you'll see that this is actually running Windows 8.1 with Bing so it's the new uh, free version or for the OEMs it's free it's the free version of Windows 8 on here so they're not even paying for the Windows license and what's also interesting is the CPU down here that's the Intel Atom Z3735G in this case. It's a 1.33 gigahertz uh, quad-core x86 platform, that, so it's a fully uh, full-scaled x86 chip that's pretty much kind of a Z3740 that you know from the older tablets, but this one is way cheaper. So Intel is offering a reference design and stuff to make really cheap tablets. That's why the price on this is very low. And this should be available for under $200. Um, it goes up to 1.86 gigahertz, and in this case, we are talking about only one gig of RAM in here, so that's the new Windows packaging they're using to be able to run this on such low-end devices. And if we go into the file manager right here, you'll see that you have 32 gigs of onboard flash storage on this device. There's also a bunch of a bunch of models that only have 16 gigs. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, you get a very basic tablet that is very cheap and you still get it from a branded manufacturer and you definitely get decent, decent performance on these. Uh, it's a full flash PC actually, so you can hook this up to a TV or whatever depending on if there are the ports on it, for example, HDMI out. Um, let's take a quick tour around. So we get a basic cam down here, so I think that should be a one or two megapixel camera. I don't know the specs exactly. Um, on this side you have the headset jack and the Windows button, so there's no capacitive button on the front or anything. You have a micro USB port right here that's also used for charging, I would guess. Over here we have a micro SD card slot and a volume rocker right there plus the power button. On the bottom, there's pretty much nothing except for this thing, so you can hang this on uh, a strap, for example, and that's pretty much it. So this thing is definitely charging through the USB port. On the back, you get a basic camera that should be a three or five megapixel camera. I don't exactly know that. And you get stereo speakers on the back too. So the whole thing is made out of plastic. It doesn't bend or anything, so the quality is pretty, pretty much all right. It's a Toshiba device after all. And for me, it, I feel the performance on this is actually better than on last year's model, so the Encore 8, you might remember from last year, uh, based on the Z3740. Uh, so they've done this in a bit better way. I don't know about the battery life on this, but it should give you about maybe six to eight hours on this device. Uh, so that's been a very quick look at the Toshiba Encore 2 WT8 entry-level tablet running Windows 8.1 on the new Baytrail entry platform. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking it out at Computex 2014. And if you like this video and want to see more videos from the show floor, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and we'll see you later. Bye.